Hey, Jason from Bohemia Bees. I want to share with everyone how I light a smoker. Uh, this is something that frustrates the heck out of most beekeepers. Uh, I got two smokers here, your standard uh, billows smoker, um, and then I've got an electric smoker that I use as well. Both I like. Uh, the electric smoker tends to be uh, a little bit uh, easier to keep going. Uh, you just tap that uh, and, it, and it puts a little bit more air through it. So. Uh, just a couple quick things when you're lighting a smoker. There's several different types of stuff you can put in a smoker. You can get starter fuel. Um, I also use the smoker fuel from Man Lake. Uh, cardboard works real well. Pine needles. Uh, whatever you have kind of around your yard um, it gives a cool smoke. Um, we're going to go ahead and light the smoker for that, uh, the electric smoker today just because it's easier. One of the things I found with the smoker, the, the first thing you got to do is make sure it's clean. So if it's got any ash or in it that's going to clog it up. You want to make sure that you clean that out first um, and make sure it's clean. And then you're going to have that inner, inner chamber if you have one of those inner chambers. Sometimes you don't. Uh, I always like that. Um, and then I usually like to try to make a, a combination so I don't waste this. This uh, smoker fuel is pretty expensive. So what I do is I take and I take cardboard and I nest that smoker fuel in that cardboard just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap more cardboard around it. it almost create like a, almost like a, 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 a log, a smoker log. Now you got to remember it's got to fit inside your, your smoker, so that's about the right size. There's like a little smoker log. Now when you light these, you want to light it from the bottom up. So whether you're using smoker fuel like pine needles or grass or whatever you're choosing to use. You want to use light from the bottom up. So I'm going to get my smoker ready. One of the other things I always found that easier to light a smoker is that you can use a standard lighter or you can just have a you know a benzomatic torch, which is also easier. It'll light it faster. So again, I'm going to light the bottom of this. So it's almost in a flame and then I'm going to take that flame and drop it right down inside the smoker and what that will do is that will start the flame now I could use a standard billow smoker as well and do the same thing but I'd be pumping this and what that's going to do is that's going to give me a little bit of time um, you can grab some grass some pine needles Whatever you have laying around, once you get the smoker going, you ball it up tight, you ball it up tight, and you set it on top. That gives you something there also. And you can see you've got a good, healthy smoke going. It'll last you for a little bit of time. Once you have a solid smoke coming through there, you close that smoker up, and that'll get your smoker going. And that's a nice cool smoke for the bees. That's about uh, how we light a smoker here at the Bohemian Apiary. There's again a bunch of different ways to do it. People uh, have different techniques. This tends to work well for me. It gets the smoker going fast. It's one of my biggest frustrations about beekeeping is getting a smoker going and then uh, keeping it going. So every once in a while when you're out working the bees, you want to definitely pump that bellow or hit that uh, button and, uh, and keep the smoke Keep the embers burning inside so it doesn't go out on you. Um, if you have any tips or tricks on how you keep a smoker going with the fuel so you put inside it, you know, comment below. You know, definitely uh, share your uh, experiences with your, with your uh, um, challenges with the uh, the smoker. Uh, but uh, happy to hear your uh, your insight. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, um, and appreciate you watching uh, Bohemia Apiary's uh, tips and tricks here in the beekeeping where hobby beekeeping is more than just a hobby, it's, it's actually an obsession. Thanks for watching.